Microsoft recently started rolling out its one of the biggest feature updates for 2021. In this video, you will see what's new in the Windows 10 21 H1 update and how to install it. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. Microsoft releases two major feature updates every year, H1 and H2. The first update usually has lots of features, and then there's a lighter second update. They did the same last year. However, this year they have changed this pattern and released the first update with very few changes. Yes, the Windows 10 21H1 feature update doesn't have those many new features to be told. However, it is somewhat good news because fewer new features mean fewer bugs. Also, they have fixed lots of ongoing issues in this update. Let's see how to install the Windows 10 21H1 update. The 21H1 Windows 10 update is slowly rolling out for computers. If it's available for your device, you can see it in the update section. If it's not there, press the check for updates. The update won't automatically install as of now. You have to click on download and install. Then it will begin the process. If the 21H1 update is not available for your device yet, you can download it manually from the Microsoft website and install it. Visit the link in the description and click on the Update Now under Windows 10 May 2021 update. Now open the Update Assistant. Then follow the instructions to update your PC. What's new in the Windows 10 May 2021 update? Windows 10 May 2021 update doesn't have exciting features. It has three major changes in which a normal user will encounter only one change, and that is Windows Hello multi-camera support. Windows Hello allows you to access your PC quickly with the help of a pin, facial recognition, fingerprint, or physical security key. If you used Windows Hello Facial Recognition, it only reads from one camera that you cannot change. Now from this update, you can configure the external camera priority in case you're using multiple cameras. This is a basic feature that Microsoft should have done already. Some users are getting the News and Interest toolbar on the taskbar, but it's not on my PC. Though, it is not a thing I'm going to miss. Windows Defender Application Guard Microsoft has improved the WDAG security by introducing the TLS 1.3 protocols. The applications open much faster after this update. The feature is primarily used by enterprises to open untrusted websites in a secured virtual environment. WMI Group Policy Changes Now this feature is also used by enterprises to control the policies of connected computers. With this update, it has been improved to support remote work scenarios. If we see the Microsoft Catalog for the 21H1 update, they have fixed a lot of issues. So you should see the new update is more stable and with fewer bugs. Are you going to try the May 2021 update? And what do you like and dislike in this update? Drop a comment below. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 tips and tricks.